pissed off, frankly. I like, mean, that's that good there's motivation. There's people around us that are, this is preventable. Mm. Domestic and sexual violence is preventable. And there's so much technology out there now, like adapt it like you yeah, are. Yeah, absolutely. We're using uh, Bluetooth 5, so it's as close to GPS as we can get. Okay. So it's very strong, the actual um, connection. You have to have your phone near it, but it's pretty far. And so we're, everyone's got the phone. Exactly. Right? And that's what we figured. Most people that go out, they carry a Spe lipstick and uh, a cell phone. Yes, yeah, especially when you're out. You mm -hmm, definitely got mm -hmm. your phone, especially yep. these days. Yep, exactly. Yeah, okay. So you got a lipstick. It's got test strips in it. Mm -hmm. You're able to test for date rape drugs. Is yep. that the right way yep. to say it? Yep. Um, and then talk to me. You've got an app which is connected. Yeah. So the app, there's two faces to the app, isn't yes, there? Yes, yes. So talk to me about that. Yeah. Well, we, it's you know, hidden from public sight. Exactly. Yeah. It just looks like your typical lipstick app. We'll have, you know. What is a lipstick app? What does a lipstick well, app have? Any, on any app that you are going to get on to buy lipstick. You can go oh, on, okay. whether it's Mac or Sephora or whatever. So the guys are not going to think twice about this. No, it just looks okay. like it just is, you know, our logo is, you know, it's a little E. Do you see the E on the end? Mm. So that's what the app looks like. And you click on the app and it originally it just looks like you can buy more lipstick. You can see the colors. You can see the trends. So guys just checking out. Yeah. That they could yeah, care less. Yeah, exactly. Okay. But if you place your finger over the, the actual logo, it turns into safety mode. Is there a double tap or is it? It's just, just a, a, a press on. Oh, you have to hold it for three on. seconds. Yeah. Gotcha. So when you press it, it literally flips. It flips into white. So it goes from black colored to white colored. Okay. And then and what do we got there? that's where you can customize a safety plan. So you can go in and click it and it can show your location. You can put in a so flip. When you got that on you, you can you're constantly being tracked. Yes. Yep. So, so you can um, you can look you can actually create a flight plan. So your location will be shown on the app, but you can also put in other locations you're going to. If you're bar so hopping, say or you're bar hopping, place. or you're a real estate agent, and you're showing multiple homes, well, or that's you know, where at whatever your job is, the more people that I interact with, the more I'm like, oh my gosh, I didn't even think about real mm. estate. I didn't even think about nurses. I didn't even think about right. You don't think of all the people that could really use something yeah like you're, this. you're just thinking like people going to a bar right now totally yeah yeah, yeah. Okay. or people experiencing extreme violence at home knowing because a lot of times they say survivors are the last to know meaning that they're experiencing violence hidden violence in their home whether it is sexual domestic violence physical violence financial you know financial abuse is a big one and what basically what that means is you don't have agency over your decisions mm. so whatever you're doing is being tracked any dollars you're getting is being given to someone else and you're tracked on everything. And so what we wanted is we want people to be able to see our product, know that it can help them and also educate them on the signs. Okay. What we saw a lot in the previous work is that oftentimes, like I said, survivors were the last to know. They're like, oh my gosh, I saw, you know, the the back of a of, of the airport door that says, if you're being trafficked, call this number. And they would think, oh, those poor people being trafficked, right? Because the understanding of trafficking is so, it's so off base, truly. Mm. Um, and then they would look at like our, our definition of what trafficking was or hear us talk about different things and would be like, holy shit, this is me. And the, and I think general public's like, yeah, right. How does someone not know they're being violated? How does mm. someone not know? But the, the reality is, if you were brought up not knowing what consent agency looked like, mm. if you already didn't feel like you had control of your body or your decisions, then having someone else make those decisions for you is not new. 